Never has the world been so connected and so informed. It is this connectivity that affords the global community the opportunity for collaboration in achieving global development goals. While considerable progress has been made towards these goals, many remain far off. We know the numbers of children surviving have increased, but has the global community done enough to ensure that the surviving children have an equal chance to develop to their full potential, not only as a human right, but also for equitable prosperity and sustainable progress of societies? The world we want beyond 2015 is just, equal, peaceful, environmentally sustainable and resilient. It is a world in which children are developing to their full potential, healthy, well-nourished, happy, able to learn, and free of abuse and violence. But this can only happen if young children get their best start in life to develop to their potential. Growing up in a loving, caring home environment, experiencing positive parenting, attending quality early childhood development programs in an enabling environment, supported by social policies, securing decent jobs for young parents with stable pay. Turn today's opportunity into tomorrow's progress requires a transformative solution. Early childhood development is a key pathway to the three principles of sustainable development, human rights, equality, and sustainability. And the four pillars of post-2015 framework, inclusive social development, inclusive economic development, environmental sustainability, peace and security, representing the transformative shift from the previous development agenda and millennium goals. This solution requires focusing more attention on the development of young children as the foundation for accelerating global change, one brain at a time. While the global community is working to reduce poverty, disease, inequality, discrimination, and address environmental issues, there are still over 200 million children under five years old worldwide not developing to their potential. 250 million children reach grade four unable to read, write, or count. But it's hard to hear. So if we turn up the volume on early childhood development, what we're really doing is putting in place a foundation that supports all other development goals. It is in synergizing our efforts that we can achieve the most positive change. But let's back up. What really is early childhood development? ECD is an interdisciplinary field that focuses on not only supporting the development of young children from when they're still in their mother's womb to eight years of age, but the capacity of parents and caregivers and communities to raise their children with an enabling environment. It is about getting things right early rather than trying to fix them later. We know beyond a doubt, thank you science, that foundations of brain architecture are laid down through dynamic interactions of genetic, biological, and psychosocial factors. The first eight years are a critically important time of unparalleled change and growth when a child's trajectory for future growth and development is set. Inequalities in child development begin before a child is born and continue and often widen in the early years through poverty-related risks that impact children's developing brains. Maternal malnutrition, infant and child malnutrition, infectious diseases, disabilities, excessive stress including due to violence, and a lack of stimulation and early learning opportunities often have negative effects on brain development. For a child born into poverty, risks often co-occur and persist. Our early brain development impacts all areas of our life, and as a consequence, ECD actually shapes the social and economic development and the human capital of a nation. Policies and interventions directed at all, but especially the poorest children, can provide significant, immediate, and long-term returns on investment. Home and community-based parenting and family support programs protect and benefit the youngest children by promoting physical, cognitive, and emotional development especially when they are integrated with other health, nutrition, and child protection interventions. For children aged three to six years, organized early childhood learning centers not only improve school readiness, but also school attainment. In turn, children who remain and succeed in school are more likely to earn higher incomes as adults and to provide better nutrition, health care, stimulation, and educational opportunities for their own children. Furthermore, Early childhood development interventions have a substantial impact on children affected by violence, disability, and developmental delays. So it's almost a no-brainer that early childhood development is the most critical piece to accelerating progress against current and future global development goals. After all, we're in this together. 
It is through a united effort we take on challenge of development and work to create a positive change. But change starts at the beginning. So where else would you look to make a meaningful change than the earliest possible moment a course can be influenced? It follows that if you can ensure a young child's overall well-being during these years, then they have the foundation to become healthy, socially and environmentally responsible, intellectually competent, and economically productive adults. And when that happens, we see real progress away from the intergenerational transmission of poverty, poor health, family and environmental stress and towards sustainable global development and the eradication of poverty and inequality. So this is an urgent global call to action. We need multiple sectors and multiple partners working within a human development and rights-based framework, all of whom promote equitable and sustainable development. We need them to see how ECD is an investment in the social and economic growth of a country, of the global community. And if we ensure that children get these eight things that they need by age eight, we can see results immediately and for the future we envision. The post-2015 agenda has to pay special attention to investing in young children as this will form the strong foundations of the world we want, the world children want. We need to turn the volume up to focus attention on ECD and focus on giving all children the best start in life so they are healthy, socially and emotionally competent, and learning successfully. They experience positive, responsive, sensitive, and nurturing child-rearing practices in safe and peaceful environments. Achieved through equitable access to quality, inclusive, and sustainable early childhood programs and services. Focus global development on developing children.